So you're going to throw a counter punch to that. You've just slipped, you've moved their punch out of the way, but you've got to come back with that right hand. So you've got to go one, two, slip, bam! We've not long just landed into Tanzania. We're going down the foot power. We've spoke with Coach Ricky, so we know of him. They're meeting me for the first time, meeting for them for the first time. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. How are we doing? We good? You right? Bring it in. So what we're going to do now, Coach is up there now. I'm going to throw one, two, three, four. To be fair to the kids, they've been absolutely phenomenal this morning. So they're just having a quick hydration break. We're going to have a quick discussion and we'll work out our game plan, what we're going to do next. So we've done our stepping stones. So it's just developing and bringing all those little skill sets together. Get straight into your boxing stance. Ready, go. That's it, bam. I don't want to see that face. Go. go. To meet different cultures, different people, watching different styles of training. The kids have been phenomenal. The gym is amazing. Coach Ricky has got a phenomenal team with Julie, Robert and Keith and many, many more. Great day. I'm absolutely buzzing. Love day. One of the big things with sort of the BoxWise program, what they deliver to, is they bring food into this as well. So we do the training. You'll learn about self-defense, about fitness, the benefits of this. But more importantly, they get to try local produce, local food. I don't know any other sports where you're allowed to do fitness and you get meal at the end of it. How good is that? How good is that? Are you enjoying boxing? Are you having fun with it? Yes, it's very fun. And is it nice meeting new people? Yes. One, two, three. So today four, we're at a five, disability school six. where we've brought Chris McEwen, our disability coach from the UK, who's delivering a five day program specifically focusing on a number of different needs uh, from pupils within the school. The great thing about BoxWise is that it isn't just about being physically fit, it's about your character your mind, your personality, your ability to know and lead yourself and hopefully to know and lead others. Our occupational therapists have um, enjoyed working with you, have enjoyed working in a different way with the students and I think are really looking forward to developing that going forward. Jay, look, turn around this way, yeah. Congratulations, Jay. Well done, and good effect this week. Ready, one, two, three. Well done, Jay. Brilliant stuff. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm the British High Commissioner in yeah. Tanzania, based in Dar es Salaam, but we, we operate all over the, the country. Um, we, it's a diplomatic mission, but we also uh, run uh, aid programs, uh, you know, British government uh, aid uh, to uh, countries like Tanzania. Tanzania is a, a, a poor country. It's a lower middle income country. So a few dollars a day. Uh, might be all that uh, you know a typical family in Tanzania uh, out in the countryside in particular will have to live on and that obviously constrains the, the kind of things they can do for the families for their kids their access to health care you know in education uh, and so on so I guess the legacy um, part of these programs is really important so that yeah. once we've kind of packed up and left you know how, how does it continue how do we evaluate and measure success and how do we ensure that these same opportunities are being um, delivered to local communities. Yeah, that is key, and it's the hardest challenge of these things is is, is uh, making it sustainable, and making it sustainable in terms of the expertise that's available here on the ground on an ongoing basis. After visitors and others have left, um, and then secondly, you know, the financial st uh, sustainability. The other thing about sport in countries like this, they have great athletes, but they don't have as many as they used to and so there aren't as many role models you know yeah. uh, and so creating the facilities creating the coaches and the cohorts of coaches putting it on a financial footing and also the role models you know getting those those tanzanian athletes and sports people uh, who can uh, stand up and inspire you know the young yeah. kids here uh, to go on and engage thank you for for being here and it's great to see the work you've been doing thank you very thank much you. indeed for coming down Appreciate thank you it. Hands waving like this. Happy, 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 okay? Graduation, 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 oh, graduation, graduation, graduation. A big part for me, I think, is around opportunity and, you know, to personally have the opportunity to do this stuff uh, is amazing and, it, and it's something that um, I think will be with me always. But actually, the real magic is giving other people opportunity because 
to see others utilize that opportunity and make their own destiny um, is far more powerful than one's own destiny. Um, and that legacy continues and is, and is passed on uh, not only in the UK, but now around the world. Hi, hi. Hippie, hippie, hi. That was good, I like that. <laughs> Encore, encore, yeah. <laughs> One more. One more. One more.